Oh snap Y'all don't even know who y'all be talking about But I'll be talking about Jesus That's right all day every day I'm talking about my Jesus Hey! Ooh. I'm talking about him Who you say? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm talking about my Jesus Yeah, yeah All day, every day Jesus, Jesus, Jesus I'm talking about him Can't stop What's up guys? Your boy Mark With uh This is Jesus Talk Cajun version This is Deborah Boudreaux Go ahead y'all introduce yourselves to the people Hey guys, my name is Deborah Boudreaux We live in South Louisiana We live on the Bayou In spite of Fouche And my uh, the name of the ministry is Warriors of His Presence Ministries, and these are my leaders, Mark and Zoe. Hi. <laughs> introduce yourselves. Hi, y'all. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> Am I listening? Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my oh, dad. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's recording? Yes, yeah, recording. <laughs> oh, oh, cut. <laughs> All right. <laughs> cut. Just join the kingdom. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. Yeah, guys, I want to uh, talk to you this, tonight about Jesus. Uh, especially, I want to speak to believers. If you're a believer and you already received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you are born again, well, this is the time and this is the season we must get busy. There's an urgency in the spirit realm that Jesus has an urgency in his voice that we have to, there's a great commission that we must fulfill and every Christian has this commission. Yeah. Jesus said, go out into the world and preach the gospel and make disciples of all nations. So we have a responsibility. I encourage you, if, you don't, if you're not doing it, I'm asking you to start. Ask the Lord when you go to Walmart to give you one. Yeah. Say, give me one to pray for. Give me one to minister to and share the gospel and the love of Christ. Ask Him. He'll give you one. And as you get in a routine of it, then you'll begin to get used to it, and it's going to come like, just flow like nature. You know, so I'm asking you to encourage you. And if you're not a believer, we want to pray for you at the end of this video. Yeah, um, it's so important to make the most of every uh, opportunity. Like, um, you never know when the person who's pumping gas is, they need prayer. And uh, so, Zoe, why don't you go ahead and expound on that? Yeah, I mean, that's true, you know, just, just like wherever you go, you know. Um, I was at the park the other day with my kids and just looking for signs in people too, things that you've been through that you can relate to other people and help them through that time that, you know, you see that they're struggling. That's usually an opportunity God is placing you in those people's path to reach out and just show the love of Jesus with what he's brought you through. And you can give them, you know, a bit of godly counsel and wisdom and um, help them through it. Let them know that Jesus is there for them in the midst of what they're facing and going through. Yeah. There's a lot of guys, there's a lot of, a lot of people right now hurting, especially they've been wounded, they've been rejected, they have they insecured, they feel like there's no worth. Uh, the enemy has lied to them all their life. And there's many hurting, and they need, they need you to share Jesus with them. They need you to share his love with them. They need you to do that. Jesus needs you. I tell them, Jesus needs you. This is the hour that when, as, as, it, as it gets closer for Jesus to come back, is the hour that there's an urgency. If you want to hear in the spirit realm, there's an urgency in his voice. There's an urgency in his voice to get busy and to start now. We're in a new season. We're in a new era. This is a new time. This is time to do what you're called to do. If you know what you're called to do as far as ministry or whatever, do it. But every one of us has an, 
has an opportunity to preach the to preach the gospel and share the love of Christ because we all go to Walmart. Yeah. You don't have to necessarily go to the streets. I'm a street preacher. I've been preaching the streets since 1997, off and on. But you don't have to go to the streets. There is people all around you, family members. Family so I, members, I encourage friends, you. Strangers. I encourage you to get yeah. busy. Jesus needs you, and he's waiting on you. And you don't want to f stand before him and give an account that you never preached the gospel. Yeah. His love is deep. And you don't always have to um, bash people over the head. You know, you do it in love. You know, uh, you be led by the Spirit. Sometimes you just let, like, even we were talking about this, let your gifts flow. Whenever you go to the streets, you want to pray for somebody, you tell them, you know, you don't lie to them, but you, t like, you don't lie to them and be like, the Lord told me to, no, but you be led by the Spirit and you say, if you feel like the Lord told you to tell them something, be like, the Lord is impressing this in my spirit to, uh, to tell you this. And you, you use your gifts to minister in the Spirit. And, uh, yeah, anybody want to share a testimony or something, you know, like, cause we, we don't, we're not just telling you this, just to push you to do it. We we do this we do this ourselves. Yes. Like this is something we practice. This is something like like God uses us in and yeah, sometimes it's uncomfortable. But the more you do it, the more you get stretched. Yeah. The more you get stretched, the more you want to do it and like you realize like you really ain't living your best life unless you live in your life for Jesus like yeah. like on the front lines like putting yourself out there like just the other day like just the other day I, I uh I said alright Lord you know I surrender and your emotions they they wanna think you know well what about what people gonna think about me but the, the second you push past that that's whenever you start feeling the the peace of God surpassing your understanding. He said he would do it and he, he really does do it. And uh yeah Yes, most believers doesn't share the gospel because of fear. Fear. But do it anyway. How you overcome your fears? By doing it afraid. And as you do it, fear will leave. As you're going to get comfortable in it. And you're gonna, the Holy Spirit is just going to flow. He's just going to speak to you and flow. And uh, it's, so, it's simple. It's simple. What Jesus did on the cross is simple. It's very simple. Today is the day of salvation. Today. Yeah, I can testify to that. What mom and dad was just saying, you know, um, having moments of, of speaking to people, kind of my first time of sharing the gospel with people. And you kind of have, you know, that um, that moment of stepping out and not always knowing what to say, but the Holy Spirit always meets you in that moment. And He does truly give you what to say and how to say and, and just be open to His Spirit leading. But, I, but just thinking about you know, those moments of being afraid, like Mama Deb said, do it anyway. We've all been do there, it. you know, and and when you do, when you step out in that and you do it anyway, you know, um, he meets you. you. You see lives being touched in front of you, and there's such a joy and a fulfillment, like Mama Deb says and all the time, that, you know, I mean, there's so many things in life that you can be doing, but there's nothing like How about that time? Jesus. How about, I don't mean to interrupt, but tell about that time you went to the park and you met at Salida. Oh, yeah. Yes. I was uh, in the room praying, and I asked the Lord a simple question. Lord, what you want me to do today? And he said, I want you to go to, I want you to, go to the by side in Lockport at 1 o'clock. And there's a young lady there, and she has a little boy with her. And I want you to go and minister to her. <clears throat> well, I did at 1 o'clock. And sure enough, there was a little Spanish lady. And she had a, her son with her. And I got down and I just went, shake her hand and said, the Lord sent me here. And she's still connected to me today. Mm -hmm. uh, she's uh, saved. Uh, I call her my spiritual daughter. And uh, yes, and she called me Ma. Yeah. So yeah, it's all about hearing his voice. Yeah. And it's all about obeying his voice. Yeah. Yes. yes. 
And I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for those that are depressed. And I want to pray for those that are full of anxiety. And you have fear, much fear, much fear. Uh, so if that's you, uh, we're going to pray for you. Father, we lift them up to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. And Father, we thank you for your love that will saturate them, Father. I'm asking you to come with your presence. And come, Father, and just, oh, Father, just saturate them with your love. Father, it's the love. It's your love that heals the rejected. It's your love that heals the rejected. I'm asking you, Father, to go. And Father, I thank you, angels already being dispatched, Lord. Wherever they are, Father, we call for angels. Holy Spirit, we ask you for the comforter, that you begin to comfort their soul, Lord. But Father, let them feel you. Let them know you there, Holy Spirit. Let them reveal yourself to them, Father. Reveal your love to them. Reveal yourself to them, Father. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, what you're doing in this hour for your people. We thank you. Your love is great. We thank you for your delivering power, Father. And Father, we thank you. This is the day of salvation, Lord. Father, they need you, Lord. I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to continue to draw them to you. And we thank you, Father, for what you're doing with your people. We, oh, Father, I thank you never left them and you never forsook them, Lord. Yes. And I thank you for doing it even now. You're doing it even now. How can you get to him? There's a Jessica. There's a Jessica. Jessica, the Lord's wanting me to tell you he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Oh, he's right there. He's saturating you right now. A Jessica. A Jessica. Yes, Father, we thank you for Jessica. We thank you, Lord. You're pouring out your, your spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, actually heal her soul from all the rejection. Heal her soul, Father. Heal her from all this anxiety and worry, Lord, fear. Father, we come against it right now. We break its powers off of her. In the name of Jesus, we break you, Satan. In Jesus' name. I lose peace upon her, Father. I lose peace in her mind. I lose peace in her soul, her spirit, man, her body. I lose peace. Be still. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You all get me? I can do it again. Thank you, Lord. I can do your good deal. I can do your good deal. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Anything? You all get me? I can do your good Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now, Father, I want to minister to all the unbelievers. If you're watching this video and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am life. No man come to the Father except through me. We must come through the blood sacrifice that he, has, he suffered and died for us. We must be cleansed from sin. The day you leave this earth, you must be cleansed from your sin. There's no sin in heaven. There's no hate. There's no murder. There's no racism. There's nothing in heaven but love, peace, and purity. We must be cleansed. So I encourage you right now to pray with us. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, because He is the healer, He is the deliverer, He is your salvation. He is your salvation. And let's pray. You pray with the Lord to receive Jesus. Okay. Lift your hands. And say, Jesus. Jesus, I received your blood. Yes, Lord. For forgiveness of my sins. Yes, I repent and I turn to you. I admit that I need you. Yes, Lord. I need you. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't just want to call on you whenever I'm in yes, the pit and whenever I really need you bad. Yes, I want to walk with you and I want to be your best friend. I want to be a good friend yes, of yours, Jesus. Yes, so come and, and be my Savior, be my Lord, be my friend. Yes, and uh, walk with me from this day forward. Yes, in your name I pray. Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know, most people, the enemy has lied to them and saying, 
and the father's angry and that you're not pleased he's not pleased with you and he's angry with you because of the things you've done well you never clean up to come to Jesus Jesus says come as you are and he cleans you up but you must make the first step then there's things you need to do because he never never comes against your will he gave us a free will to do what we want to do so I encourage you get on the path that Jesus had for you before you were born he has a plan for your life when you were born there's a plan already set in motion but most of us we begin to do our own thing and we do it our way and we do our will and then we live a life of destruction but I encourage you if you just got born again and you receive Jesus in your heart that you get on the path that he has for you you want to see something? Mm -hmm. that's good Amen. Amen. well guys if you want to connect with us uh, in the comments section they got my email the mm -hmm. name of the ministry and uh, if you want to connect with us if you want to uh, go to the streets we'll train you to go to the streets <laughs> and uh, you know yeah I'll talk about my Jesus. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, guys. See you later. Peace out. What's up, guys? I have a quick announcement. For those of you who are wondering, we are having a tent revival September 15th, 16th, and 17th. Uh, and we'd love to have you there. On the 15th and 16th, we will begin at 7 p.m. And on the 17th, uh, we will begin at 6 p.m. The address is 6419 LA 308, Lockport, Louisiana 70374. You can punch that into your Google Maps and it will take you directly uh, across from where the event will be. It's called the Lockport Elevated Boardwalk. Uh, that's where Google Maps will take you, but there will be flaggers who will uh, direct you to parking and a golf cart who will pick you up and bring you to the event, which is uh, right next to where you will be parking. And uh, it's going to be done in order. It's going to be a great event. I hope you guys can make it. Um, so yeah, share this uh, with your friends. They have an event created on Facebook where you can uh, say that you're attending, say that you're interested, or say that you can't make it. Uh, so you can respond to it. You can, uh, if you have any questions, um, you can contact us. You can uh, reach out through email, uh, bow to the king seven seven at gmail dot com. I will put all that information down in the comment section below. All right, guys. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching Jesus Talk Cajun Version, and uh, tune in for more. God bless. Shalom. Won't stop, can't stop, won't stop. I'm talking about my Jesus. Hey, yeah. We praise the holy name of Jesus. Jesus. We praise the holy name of Jesus. King Jesus. Hey, we praise the holy name of Jesus. Jesus. We praise the holy name of Jesus, King Jesus, hey, we praise the holy name of Jesus, Jesus.